trying this stupid thing one more time. And we are back on the air. Back on the air in this stupid hold thing. Hold on, one more hold time. on, I wasn't ready. What? No, oh, it's. Whatever. I'm gonna pause for a second. You wanna pause? Yeah. We need to conversate. What are we conversating about? Well. I feel like we should tell some fun stories. Is it story time? Sure. What stories do you wanna tell? I feel like you should tell the audience about that story with the goats. Okay. If you just play the stupid game. Fine, I'll play the fucking game. We have curtains open, it's daylight, we've been up all night playing this fucking game. I'm not afraid anymore. It's five in the morning. But really, it's- Five? Seven. Well, it's- Seven twenty. What does that say? That's twelve twenty-five, duh. Um... So yeah, um, I guess Nathan wishes me to tell the ghost story that I just told like five seconds ago. <sighs> God damn it! <laughs> I was waiting for it. Fuck! It's really awkward. Like I don't mind talking to a microphone, but it's really awkward when the only two people in the room are people I just told the story to. Like, five minutes ago. Not even five minutes ago. Not even five minutes ago. More like two minutes ago. Yeah, he did literally just tell this story, but I'm making him tell it again, because it's a great story. It's an alright story. It's pretty good, Sarah. Um... Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, whatever. Uh, at one point, my mom, uh, during my high school years, dropped me off in a petting zoo. Because that's what high schoolers do. That's what I did. <laughs> um... <laughs> and... I'm supposed to be looking for people, alright? Um. Yeah, there were a bunch of goats, and the goats, like, weren't doing anything. So I started, like, poking the goats and, like, trying to get them to. Look for. Her. Trying to get them to react to me. You're dead. Uh. Got her. Yeah, trying to get the goats to react. Started, like, uh, you know, poking them and being like, goat, hey, goat, goat, goat. Start petting them and stuff, and they. Would not stop eating the rocks that they were eating. Because goats love rocks. These goats did. Um. Uh, are you. Jesus Christ! This is. This is impossible. So. Uh, wouldn't stop eating the rocks. And I, I just kept trying to mess with them and kept trying to get their attention and all that. Until eventually, like, I just looked at them and was like. Are you, are you serious right now? Okay. Get out of the room. The clown laughed. Did it? Yeah. Well, now it did. This is so stupid. Oh, dear God. So, yeah. I started making goat noises at him. Uh, and it, all of them looked up. And then proceeded to follow me around for like the next half hour. Because I'd become King of the Goats. Uh, a follow up novel by, for. by William Goldberg. And yeah, they just, there's like six of them that were just following me around for like half an hour until and there was a big steel drum in the middle of the, the petting zoo. I just sat down on it and I had like. An army of goats surrounding me. So when my mom came back up, it was just a little bit horrifying. <laughs> looked like I had somehow. It looks like I had somehow obtained like a superpower, and that superpower was commanding perhaps the most useless creature that God has ever put on this earth. <laughs> Pretty good story, though. I enjoyed it. Better if I wasn't like trying to escape from murder. I'm usually decent at spinning yarns, but not at 7.20 while I'm escaping certain death. That's 7.20 a.m. Am. 7.20 am, not 7.20 b. Or 7.20 was. Or 4.20 blaze. Jesus, I am going to win this, aren't I? Well, you have a lot more time to do it. Yeah, but I'm also, like, forced to stick for, like, 30 seconds in the same spot. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wrong. Oh, 
with you. Get back in there and look for it. Ah, oh, this is gonna be impossible. Babe, I'll make the bed. Bed. So yeah, after that I had uh, I think it might have been before that as well that I had gotten the goat noise, because like everyone would touch my freaking goatee. He's in the room. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone used to stroke my goatee in high school, and I would make goat noises. Do you remember Kelsey? Yeah, I do. Sasquatch? He did call him Sasquatch, didn't he? Yeah. I liked his belly button. Did you? Yeah. Why? Well, you know, like, I was in a band. Yeah. In high school, and they were in a band. And then we had Lamarta at our high school. Which, I mean, like, they were alright or whatever. They never tried to cover Every Time We Touch by Cascada. Copyright. Um... <laughs> But, uh, you know, me and Kelsey were pretty good friends, and I was sitting there hanging out with Kelsey one day, and Kelsey was like, you know, I don't really have a, I don't really have a happy trail, unlike most people, I have a happy highway. I was like, no fucking way. And he's like, yeah, dude, check this shit out. And he lifted up his shirt, and I was like, holy shit, that thing is so furry. I wonder what it would feel like on my tongue, just fucking around. We're like in the middle of high school. Uh, the... Well, the bell had just rang, so everyone's like going to class. No, we had just gotten out of school, so everyone's leaving school. Everyone's passing through this one hallway. And we're just sitting there talking about his fucking happy highway. He's like, I don't know, man. Why don't you lick it? I'm like, why would I lick it? He's like, because I said no balls. I was like, oh, man. Because no balls was the thing where we had to do it, you know. Like when I put my dick in a fan. Um, put your dick in a fan? I'll tell you that story here oh, in a I'm second. I'm not the only one. Uh, <laughs> but, uh. So I'm sitting there, and Colts was like, yeah, why don't you just do it? And Kelsey was like, yeah, Nathan, just lick, lick my belly button. I was like, what are you guys going to do if I do? And they're like, well, we'll do your homework. Really? Yeah. So I was like, fine, bet. And I'm sitting there. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even hear you. Yeah, she didn't even laugh. But I was like really contemplating it. And he's like, if you wait until everyone leaves, I'm not doing your homework. So I was just like, fine, Kelsey, I'm going to lick your belly button. I yelled it real loud so everyone could hear. They all turned, and I was like, nah. Just got mouthful of hair. It was awful, Ugh. but they did my homework. How long? Just once? Uh, like, a <laughs> few days. I wasn't promised good grades or anything, apparently. I got, like, D's on it. Jesus. The only, the only story I really have from that, from that guy was, uh, like, he was a weird bird, dude. He was really weird. That's why he had me lick his belly button. Well, yeah, but, like, he was particularly weird, and, um, he would just kind of come to school every day, and I don't know why, but I think I, I think I ate breakfast with the guy every day or something. Breakfast or lunch, I can't remember. But I ate a meal with him, like, every day. She's in the other room. <laughs> Jesus. Whatever. I ate a meal with him every day. And one day, like, we're at breakfast, and it's at school, so it's like 5 in the morning or whatever it is. And he just walks and sits down, and every day he, like, had some, like, weird thing to say. That would just kind of be like what started the day, right? Mm -hmm. He was like my coffee. Yeah, so he, you know, would show up and he would just he usually him or somebody at the table would just like make some really weird remark, and that would start the day. And uh, one day he came in and he was just like, "I'm gonna start the pineapple diet." Oh my god, dude! He told me all about that. Yeah, and. Uh, I was like, what's the pineapple diet? Because I was young and naive. And he was just like, if you eat nothing but pineapples for like two weeks, then you can uh, ejaculate enough to fill like uh, a mug of coffee, basically. Wrong room. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, okay, shit. I'm dead, so. Yeah. So he was just, oh, and, and you can't masturbate the entire time. Wait, how long are you supposed to eat it? Like two weeks or something. Jesus, I'm gonna have to try that. So it was like two weeks, you don't masturbate, and you eat nothing but pineapple. It's supposed to like, he he told me it was supposed to fill like two like two mugs of coffee or something. Or that's what he saw. <laughs> what he saw? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cause he, he was also the guy who made the remarks about like, the, man, I just got on this weird website and I saw some dude who poured like hot candle wax inside his urethra and like pulled it out and made a candle. Yeah, that does seem right up his alley. Yeah, so he came in, he's like doing that, and then like he like 
would talk about it every day. He's like, man, I'm five days into the pineapple diet. I hate everything. <laughs> so much. Um, <laughs> it's probably the only time I was curious about another man's ejaculation. <laughs> oh crap. So, curious about another man's ejaculation? Yeah, that's the only time. I think he ended up breaking out of it early, and he only got like a half a mug or something. Art class I had with him. Jesus, that sounds horrifying. Yeah, I had art class with them. Colt, uh, Kelsey, Jesus and Taylor Christ. Bleep. Taylor Bleep. Taylor Bleep, my favorite person. What the? He ain't even <laughs> doing anything! <laughs> Fuck you!